iPhone Video One Audio Visual Sync in three, two, one. <laughs> Guess that's how that works. Hey guys, what's up? We are now officially in day zero for Phoenix Comic Fest. Um, so this, this year is a little bit different. Usually the load-in is Thursday morning, so it's the first day, which is preview day, um, of this four-day convention. But today is Wednesday because they changed their policy that they want all uh, exhibitors and artists and vendors and all that to come and load in Wednesday night. They don't want anyone on Thursday to help avoid any like extra people like holding up the, the opening time because if I remember correctly, the loading dock, everyone has to be cleared out before legally they're allowed to open the convention. So yeah, it's kind of thrown me off because I had work all day. So now I have to hurry and pack the car and get over there before it gets too late right now. It's about 5 p.m. and they're open till 10. And I don't know how many people are gonna be waiting in line to just get their stuff in and they close at 10. So tonight's probably gonna be a bit of a long night because now I have to pack the car right now. It's probably gonna take about 30 minutes and then drive all the way to Phoenix during rush hour. So that's gonna be fun. So uh, tag along with me as I oh, try to tackle the crazy traffic from both Phoenix and people waiting to get in the convention hall. guys so it's officially uh, day one of Phoenix Comic Con I sorry I didn't really wrap up yesterday basically we got here we set up just this part uh, I just quickly got some stuff out got everything out of the car and then uh, we were going to stay a little bit longer but we didn't want to pay for parking since I already paid like close to hundred dollars worth for parking because I was stupid <sighs> anyway so uh, got here early um, I had to drop my husband off and uh, got here like way ahead of time, was waiting for about an hour to pick up the badges because that opened at like nine. And then I hung out with a guy named Stuart, really cool. I'll drop his link down in the description. Uh, he's a comic book artist, does stuff for like G.I. Joe and a bunch of other stuff. Like he showed me some of his work, he's amazing. I'm like, okay, I'm cool with this. I love hanging out with random people and talking to them. And it was a really fun morning, so can't complain. So now uh, this morning I'm by myself it's right now, oh, what time is it even? It's right now 9.31, yeah. So um, I have like until 2.30 is when it opens and I didn't want to go anywhere else. So I'm just gonna take my time setting up. I got some prints that I need to bag and board to get ready for um, displaying. And then I got to finish this backdrop and then I'll be done. So I might do like some sketching and hang out and maybe walk around a bit, but that's about it. So yeah, today's gonna be an interesting day. Usually Thursday is a little slow just cause it's preview night, not everyone can make it. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes with that. We'll just have to wait and see. So gonna set up real quick, get this all situated and then probably just walk around and chill. So another thing I'm like super bummed about is last year the booth was like a full six by six. This year it's like a weird size. I don't know how to describe it. Like I don't really have as much space as I did in previous years, like by quite a bit. 
I don't know why, but it's just like, maybe because I got the corner, but it also sucks because I bought like a premium corner and paid extra for it. So I don't know if they just overall change the sizes on everyone or what, but either way, it kind of sucks because I'm so used to having a certain size setup. And I had a plan for how the booth was gonna look, but that's not happening now, now that I have to change my setup because of sizing. So yeah, kind of sucks, but I'm making it do what it, or making do with what I have. So I think I'm gonna expand this out a bit now that my, my friend set hers up. So I'll probably make this a little bit bigger and probably bring it in a little more. And I'll try that out. Yeah. All right, so I finished setting up the booth. Um, it's a little bit awkward just cause I don't really know exactly what angle I want people to see me from. So we're just gonna test this setup. I'll take you guys around and show you everything. But it's kind of conflicting cause I like it and I have enough room to sketch and do stuff, but I don't know. So let me take you around, show you what I did and uh, kind of what the booth setup looks like as of right now. Okay, so here's the booth overall. We got all the prints hanging in the back. And then I have my different books, the coloring book, Inktober art book, and all my Inktober prints. And then I have a little space for me to sketch. I'm gonna do free sketches because little, uh, little extra thing for you guys that watch the vlogs. I'm going to be doing, eh, focus, focus. There we go. My creature compendium. I'm gonna officially announce it. Uh, coming up pretty soon, but you guys get it early. It's gonna be July 1st. But basically I'm doing these little sketch postcards to also hand out flyers. So we're gonna see how this works. I haven't done sketch cards in a really long time, so we'll try it out. So then yeah, I got my little setup. I got my iPad for my cash register. And then over here, got my 11 by 17s, small prints, all my buttons that I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> Bunch of charms and stickers. So yeah, that's the overall booth. I think it's a pretty solid setup, especially because I'm on a corner, but we'll just have to see how the weekend goes and everything. YouTube channel I do uh, monster mash challenges where I create new creatures from prompts that my community gives me and um, the Kickstarter is basically putting all those monsters into a monster manual to use in like D&D and Pathfinder and such. Is it okay if I share this in my uh, comic book fan group on Yeah for Facebook? sure. That's totally fine. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah thank you. So I have them all in the book right there too, the Inktober book. So we're back here. Is there anything? 
anything in particular you want from? So, so far the theme in the book has just been the world of Harry Potter, but people have done like, whatever, like, it runs the gamut in okay. that sort of thing. Well now so. it's, it's a hard choice. Whatever you're feeling, I am happy with it. Go back. <laughs> I typed in Hungarian horntail and it said put Hungarian pot wax, which is apparently a type of pepper. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay. I'm a little relieved that it was peppers. Me too! I was like, what did I just click? <laughs> I was like, oh no. Oh no, it's gonna be on my phone forever. Thank God it was a pepper. It's gonna start like a Google's just gonna start offering things. Hot pepper! Yeah. Go get your hot wax. So guys, this is officially day two of uh, Phoenix Comic Con, or Comic Fest. Um, yesterday was a really cool day. Uh, I have a little bit of an update for you guys. I'm gonna walk over to his booth. But basically, for the last hour and a half of the convention yesterday, I just hung out with the, the guy I told you about, I think I told you guys about him in yesterday's vlog, um, Stuart. Uh, he is a really awesome dude. So. I got to talk to him for a while yesterday, and it was really, really cool. Um, we went through, did a, like a little bit of a critique and a review, and like went over um, my work, what I can improve and everything. And I just remembered his booth says no filming, so I won't film. Um, but I'll have a link down in the description about, uh, with his, his website. But it was a really great critique. Like he showed me what I, need to improve on in terms of like where I'm struggling with backgrounds and he even gave me like brushes like brush suggestions on what to use and like oh it was just really cool it was really really cool so um, it was an awesome opportunity to meet him talk to him and he also introduced me to the owner of one of the comic book shops here in Arizona and uh, a bunch of other other like industry professionals and it was just a really cool hour and a half it just hanging out, talking. Um, he wanted a piece of my artwork. He wanted the uh, Nargakuga print. So I'm gonna go give that to him today. And it was just, it was really cool. Like, I was gushing about it all night. But besides that, that was the end of day yesterday. So today, it's the second day, Friday. We still have Saturday and Sunday to go. But uh, I got here nice and early because I had to drop my husband off again. So it's like, probably close to eight in the morning. And uh, it is empty in here. <laughs> So i uh, got to set up my booth and then my husband is joining me today at noon to help me out because he had to work at least a half day today. And uh, yeah, I don't really have any other updates. It was kind of slow yesterday. Like I got a lot of people to talk to and I did a lot of sketch cards and all this other stuff, but I didn't really get sales. So I kind of expected that. Thursday preview night is usually the time when people like walk around, check everything out. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the day for sales. So I'm really, really hoping this year is really good because I want to, I'm, I'll go back over here, but I want to upgrade to an exhibitor booth next year because if I'm going to have Fox Among Hounds come out and my monster manual, I'm gonna need a bigger booth. So like these booths right here, 
Those are 10 by 10s. So that's the exhibitor booth. It is a bit more expensive, but I think it will be worth the investment. But then in comparison, the artist alley booths right here are like six by, they say they're six by eight, but it's like eight deep and six wide. Mine seems to taper in the back because I couldn't get the full six foot length of my display. But either way, yeah, I'm thinking about upgrading or doing a double booth artist alley. But I, I think I'm going to go with going with an exhibitor. But then again, I got to see if I if I make profit, then yeah, I could totally afford it. But yeah, we'll have to see if I can because <laughs> hopefully this weekend's good. But all right, I'm going to go back and I'll set up. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. So I thought you guys might find it interesting, at least on what feedback that Stuart gave me. Um, so it's the combination of a lot of my like background painting specifically is kind of more blurry and not as like crispy, crisply rendered, um, which I know is something I suffer from. It's like one of the biggest crutches for me. I've never, I've been really like frustrated with my painting because I've never feel I'm close enough to getting it like crisply rendered, but I also want it to be painterly. So it's just this weird, like balancing act of trying to do both. Um, so he noticed that and he's like, this is pretty frustrating for you, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. I, I just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I, I follow the courses online. I've used a bunch of different brushes and I'm trying to figure it out. And uh, he gave me some really solid feedback on what brushes to use and how to try it out and everything. So I'm gonna try that when I get back from Comic-Con. Um, and then he also was like, you really need to push your depth of field because why he liked, let me grab it, why he liked this print so much was because the trees back here are super pushed back in space. The trees that get closer, closer to the face of the Nargacuga are um, a, like more crisply rendered, but they're not like super perfect. And then the Nargacuga itself uh, was very crisp and then it also faded back. So like the left half of it with the face and everything was really nicely rendered. And then the tail and everything kind of went back into space. So your eye was instantly attracted to the face and everything. And he's like, this is where it's successful. And that's why this one is so much better compared to everything else is you have a better painting technique and the depth of field, but you're still lacking some crispness in certain things. And this will help you a lot in terms of um, getting that look that you're wanting. So I'm really excited to try it. It's gonna be a little bit intimidating to try because it's a very weird brush. Like I'll show you guys later, um, but it's a, a weird shape, but he's like, you'll, you'll get used to it. It's gonna take some time. Um, so I'm gonna try that and I don't know what I'm gonna work on yet. Cause as of right now, to be totally frank with you guys, I don't have like any videos ready for next week. And uh, I've been thinking about taking a short break to really practice and refine. And then also because this thing is launching July 1st, I have to get that ready too. So I might take a short break from YouTube. So don't be surprised if you see that announcement. Since you guys are watching the vlog, you kind of get the, uh, the first sneak peek into that um, and into my brain thoughts because I'm really inspired to try to do the best I can. And after his feedback and all that, I, I really want to get better. So then when Fox and Hound, or Fox Among Hound premieres next year, it'll be even better. So um, I might take a, and then also VidCon. I have to get ready for VidCon, that's in June. So I might take a solid like, I don't know, two weeks to a month just take it off for a little bit and really refine and get better and practice and everything. So yeah, that's my thought process right now. But anyway, day two, I'm all set up, ready to go. And we still have an hour until guests arrive. So I think I'm just gonna sketch for a bit, get some ideas down and go from there. So cool, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, day three of Phoenix Comic Con. I know I've been really shitty about vlogging. Like this con has been like hit and miss for me on if I'm wanting to vlog. And now that I have the nice camera, it's kind of like intimidating to pull it out. I'm still getting used to like vlogging in public. So it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so today uh, is Saturday, which I'm hoping is a better day because Thursday, Friday was not great, honestly. Um, so last year's Phoenix Comic Con was really bad for me. Like I, did terrible compared to the three years before. So I barely was able to afford a booth again for this year. Um, 
So I was hoping this year was it would bounce back. And uh, at least as of right now, it's not terrible. Like it's not as bad as last year, but it's not great either. So I'm hoping today and tomorrow it picks up a lot more in terms of people and business, but it's also hard because the Comic-Con, they raise their entry price to get in um, to kind of subsidize for, I'm assuming like to get um, better security and up a lot of the stuff in the convention in general and to pay for the um, bigger guests that are attending. But uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of slow and I'm hoping that the sale of, or I'm hoping that the more expensive ticket price doesn't really affect sales as much as I think it's going to. So I'm trying to be optimistic. Yesterday was really hard though because I got really down on myself. It was really hard to bounce back. But a good night's sleep helped a lot. And I also want to thank everyone who stopped by the booth. I had so many amazing fans come by and you guys really helped cheer up my day and everything. And um, you guys are awesome. And you guys know who you are. If you stop by, it was, it was really nice. And the fan art that I got was amazing. I'll post pictures of it. Um, at least I probably would have posted them for yesterday or I can post them right now. Um, but they just, they were just amazing. And I felt like a terrible person for being mopey, even though that all that good stuff happened. I'm just being totally honest with you guys. I know I'm kind of just vomiting emotions, but either way, like I, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. It, it really, really helped. So I'm going to try to stay optimistic and peppy today. And then on top of it, I'm seeing um, Barb from Rooster Teeth today, Barbara Dunkelman. Um, I'm going to go take her the fan art that I made her and then I'm going to get it signed. And I have a copy that I'm keeping for myself. And then I'm thinking about there's a print that she has there that people are getting signed that I've seen uh, around the convention all day yesterday. And uh, I really like it. So if she still has those, I'm probably going to get one of those signed. But I'm going to that at 1030. So we're open on the hall for at least an hour and a half or two hours because it opens at 930. So about an hour. And then I'm going to zoom over there and get the signature and say hello. So that's exciting. We'll see if I can vlog or not. Probably not. I'm assuming it would cost extra to take video or pictures, so I will avoid that. But uh, I'm excited. I really want to see her. But let me show you guys the fan art. Can I have that? Oh, geez. So I made a couple pieces for her. Um, one of them she's going to sign for me. I actually should probably crop this down. I'm going to steal my paper cutter back. But I did this Yang, which I'm going to have her sign for me and then a copy for herself. And then her show always open. I made this for her and Mariel. It's stupid, but I liked it. Um, so I'm gonna give those to her today and meet her and say hello. So I'm excited, but also a little intimidated because I really like what she does and her work and her voice and Yang and all that. So, yep, that's, that's the update. It's from me not vlogging yesterday and I apologize. I'm trying to get better about it, but still a little, still a little intimidated by vlogging and pulling out a giant camera. So I'll get better. It's gonna take, take a little time. Um, but all right, that's it. So Saturday, here we go. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully there's a good amount of people, but we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so uh, partway through the day, I went and saw Barb. It was really cool. She was really, really nice and really liked the fan art. So that was pretty awesome. Um, it's actually picked up quite a bit. So it's just a quick update because um, I don't know when or if people are going to stop by. But at least for now, it's just been free sketches, a couple of uh, a couple things sold, and a couple fans came by. Uh, I, oh, I should have wrote down their names, but there was a couple like really awesome people that came by, and these. Uh, two little kids they were super nice and oh I love it it just made my heart melt but yeah today I'm feeling like way better overall so uh so far a lot busier day a lot better in general so can't complain but we'll see how it goes so uh today's been pretty good uh sales have been up a lot more uh we have a lot more foot traffic which is really good um but I got to meet Jaden Animations which was really cool we're gonna try to meet up at VidCon later 
um, this in June. But that was really fucking cool. Like I, I missed her last year, and we had fun just chatting about art and such. And uh, I just am in a really good, really good mood and a really good headspace today. But on top of it, my husband surprised me with this guy. Look how cute he is. <laughs> and he's so soft. I'm sorry if I just like rattled my mic, but he's so cute and super soft. And I think he's gonna add well to our little Shiba family. We got a stuffed one and then we got two real ones. So that's exciting. But I think I'm gonna name him Art. He's cute. He's so cute. But yeah, just wanted to fill you guys in. It's cool because got a little cute little guy and then the convention's been a lot better so far. But uh, we're about at, I think, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We still have to go until, uh, I think goes till 7 tonight. So we still got a couple more hours. I'm really hoping it really picks up in the last couple hours because that would be solid. I really want to buy, I think I'm going to upgrade next year to two booths, uh, two artist booths so I have more space because it's a little cramped in here right now and I think I could expand well into two booths. So I'm going to try that and see how it goes. But I need to make a little bit more to uh, be able to buy the second booth. So, yeah. Exciting, but almost done, almost done with Saturday. So I know you guys are probably getting uh, tired of this angle, but uh, yeah, there's not a lot going on at this convention, sadly. Um, it's day four, final day, Sunday. Uh, it's been pretty slow, and I found out yesterday that, I don't know if it's true, but according to a couple artists and vendors I talked to, attendance is down by 40%. That's really fucking bad. Like to be frank, it's it's not good. So I, I was wondering why it was so slow, because I mean, even for a Saturday, it wasn't like busy. Like there wasn't a lot of people. Um, and I haven't done nearly as well as I had at previous years. Like last year, I understood why I did so bad. It's because we had that, the gunman incident and a lot of people refunded their tickets because of the enhanced, quickly thrown together security. I get it. But, <laughs> what are you doing? But at least for this year, like, it sucks because I have a real good feeling why people aren't coming is because they up the ticket prices. Um, last year's full event pass, if you bought it at the very last minute, I think was between 70 and 80 bucks. It's like 120 now if you buy it at the door. So it almost like doubled in price, which is not, not good. I know a lot of people messaged me and said, we're not going to be able to make it. And I'm like, well, that sucks. So, oh, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's... It's not great. I'm gonna renew for next year because I'm really hoping they get it figured out and situated and everything. And I have to sneeze. I know I can't help it. Crap. Anyway, so next year I hope they get it situated, figured out or something. But yeah, my biggest fear is I think they're gonna up the booth and artist table prices potentially. I mean, they've grown every year, but I'm afraid it's gonna be a bigger jump. But we should find out today, because renewals start today, so they should be dropping off papers or we can go up and check how much it would be to renew. So yeah, we'll just have to see. And then also, I forgot to mention, I guess when a little while after we left, someone pulled the fire alarm and they had to evacuate the entire convention center and the, uh, all the scheduling for the evening was canceled. So any panels, any events, all were canceled. Um, so yeah, that made a lot of people really ticked off. And I guess they're now handing out free Sunday passes to anyone who had just a Saturday day pass. So hopefully it's busier today because the people that were going to be here only a Saturday are also coming for a Sunday. So that's good. But then it also sucks because you know, evacuation and all that stuff happening. Yeah. So either way, I mean, attendance wise and sales wise, it hasn't been a good convention. It's been really slow. I got to meet a lot of cool people. I got to talk to a lot of cool people, got to meet amazing fans like you guys. And uh, that was really cool. That's what usually makes a convention for me, but I still have to be able to make enough to buy another booth. So it's a little disappointing that it was pretty dang slow. I'm hoping today is good. If today's really good, then I'll be fine. But if today's really bad, I'll be screwed. So, yep. All right, so we're wrapping up uh, Phoenix Comic Fest. Well, now it's Phoenix Fan Fusion. We got uh, different exhibitors packing up. We got about 30 minutes until the show um, is done and over. But, you know, some people pack up early. I'm probably gonna pack up here in the next 
10, 15 minutes to slowly pack down. But yeah, today was really slow. Um, we found out today, uh, this morning, the owner of Phoenix Comic Fest came on the loudspeaker and told us uh, attendance was down by 30% from the show. Uh, they did 40% less vendors this year, so they were hoping that they would have the same numbers as last year, but with the whole fiasco last year with the uh, the gunmen and a bunch of other stuff, all the attendance went down, so that really hurt all of us exhibitors. Um, but they were really nice, and they gave all booths a discount for renewing, so that's really nice of them to do, and I'm excited to try again next year. I think next year this convention will bounce back, hopefully, but... I'm going to try one more year. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to, I already renewed and we're going to see how well it goes. But for now, we're going to pack up, break down and head out. And uh, then it's done. Then the convention's all done. But overall, it was a fun convention. It was great seeing fans and everyone. But, <laughs> but uh, in terms of sales and other things, not very good, to be honest. But <laughs> it was, uh, it was okay. It was okay overall. You guys are such nerds. <laughs> so you didn't answer my text. I was vlogging. I was vlogging. So just to give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes, this is the marshalling yard. There's my little car. Um, but we gotta line up, and as soon as our booth is packed, we'll be able to drive over down to the loading dock and load up all our stuff. 